Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, consultant, and trainer. And I want to share with you quickly a high-level view of settings and privacy to help you understand what you should be looking at and give you some ideas of how you may want to configure it for you based on my own experience. And you get the settings and privacy from me, settings and privacy, and it opens up this page. You have account preferences, sign in, security, visibility, communications, and data privacy and advertising data. So we start with accounting preferences. Really, the first option you have is profile and site syncing, subscriptions, partners, and account management. Let's go through these quickly. Profile information, name, location, history, that's gonna kick you to the top card of your LinkedIn profile to make sure you, you say your name appropriately. Maybe you look at your location you have in there, make sure it's a region, and then your industry, make sure it's the most relevant industry you can have. Again, it's gonna kick you back over here it's going to kick you into what's called the top card or the info card or edit intro where you make those changes. Site preferences. This is the language. This is select the language you use on LinkedIn. I recommend you select the language that is, a, uh, that is uh, your native language, not a, a native, not a language that you are marketing into. Uh, you can always create another profile with a different languages in different countries if you want to have those other uh, languages represented on your profile. Content language, this is where you tell LinkedIn, I want you to translate to this language. So if you're looking at uh, content from Spain or Europe or other countries of different languages, then you can ask LinkedIn to translate it to whatever language you want. Again, go to your native language. You can also add additional languages so you can have LinkedIn make choices. I want English today or I want Spanish. Autoplay videos. This is, do you want by default LinkedIn to start playing videos when they appear in your newsfeed? I recommend no because it's distracting and you don't need to hear slash see every video that's in your newsfeed. Showing profile photos. This is what photos do you want to see of other members when you're on LinkedIn? You have the choice of deciding. Do I want to see no profile photos? I only want to see my first level connections. I want to see everyone in my network, which is typically first level, second level, and group members. Or do I want to see all? For most of us, we would want to see all profile photos. Feed preference is going to open up another, win uh, another window. I'm going to open that in another tab. Feed preferences lets us choose fresh perspectives of people that we're not following, companies we're not following, hashtags we're not following today so that we can follow them and put them in our newsfeed. That might be a good way to find new content you want to pay attention to. Uh, the following, these are the people, pages, companies that we are following today's hashtags that we are following, and we can unfollow from here. You'll notice that they are in order by the most posts this past week. And the further you scroll down, you'll see this less and less uh, posts for these individuals or these companies or these hashtags. You can, by the way, filter that and say, okay, I want to see everybody I'm following who I'm connected with. Those who are out of my network, I want to see companies or just hashtags. And then you can make a decision when you're looking at that. Are these companies I want to follow or not? And if they are, if they are companies that you don't need to be following anymore because you're not getting value from them or they're not your target accounts, then stop following them because there's no need to load up your news feed with a bunch of stuff that is not relevant and or of use to you. Go back to site preferences, and the next one is viewers of this profile also viewed. This is the box that shows up on the right side of your LinkedIn profile that says people who view this profile also view these profiles. I turn that off, and the reason being, if someone, if my target audience is looking at my profile, I don't need them to see who else was, uh, what other profiles were looked at alongside mine. Typically, that's going to be my competitors, my peers. I want them to focus on me, not have uh, do a, well, a squirrel activity and go look at these other profiles. I want them to focus on me. Unfollowed, I won't take you in there. These are the list of people that I am, uh, was following that I am no longer following, and LinkedIn gives me the ability to resume following them from this area right here. Syncing options. Syncing options let you sync your calendar or your contacts. So if I go into that, 
So I can sync contacts, I can sync calendar. And so link, uh, LinkedIn is saying, okay, Tay, do you want to sync your contacts from Google or I can go connect to Outlook or out, uh, for work or personal or my phone contact? And it lets me connect my Google calendar or uh, my phone calendar. I make a, uh, I've got these connected for testing purposes, but I do not sync my contacts. For me, the reason I don't sync my contacts is because um, I don't need another application slash business seeing all of my contacts and being able to use that data beyond my own purposes. Calendar, the reason why I don't sync my calendar my calendar is very dynamic. It covers lots of areas of my life. I do not need another application slash business looking at my calendar and using that data within their privacy policy, which is why they show that right here. But even within their privacy policy, I do not need my calendar seen by other applications that do, when it does not serve me. The next section under account preferences is subscriptions and payment. This is where you go in and see your billing information and you cancel premium or you uh, uh, switch to another premium service. You can also go look at your purchase history from here and see what your purchases have been uh, over the last X number of years or months. Partner services is where you connect your Microsoft, your Twitter, and your WeChat. This is, and you connect your Microsoft from Microsoft. There's no way within here to see it. I can see what Microsoft account I have connected if I had one connected, and it says zero. This is where I add Twitter or, or, or delete, remove Twitter or display it on my profile or don't display it on my profile if, you're, you, if you are, in fact, using Twitter. Having Twitter is not the same as using Twitter. And then your WeChat settings, you can decide, do, you, do we display WeChat on my profile? What WeChat account do I have? Do I remove it or, and, or do I show it? And the last section under account preferences is account management. This is where you merge accounts if you have duplicate accounts. Point of interest here, if you want to merge another account, make sure you're logged into your primary account, the one that you are the most uh, excited about, that you built out your profile, built out your network, built out your uh, content. Then you get the email address and the password for the other account that you want to pull into here. That's very important that you're logged into the account that is the most important to you. And then hibernate account is interesting you can temporarily deactivate your account however you can't hibernate your account if you're the owner of an active group you have a premium membership or you're associated with an enterprise product so you have to transfer that uh, product to another administrator transfer that group to another administrator and you have to reconvert to basic before you can hibernate what i haven't found yet is how long can you hibernate account i've looked i have not been able to find that information but it's a great way to go dormant for a while if you absolutely need to hide from uh, your LinkedIn network or you absolutely don't want any engagement. This is one way you can do that without having to completely close your account. And the last option under account preferences is close your account. This is where you can absolutely close your account completely. Uh, just get completely off of LinkedIn. Again, you can't do that if you're an admin of a group, if you have a premium product or, or the admin of, a, of an enterprise level product. So you got to transfer those ownerships of the groups, maybe even of the company pages, uh, convert back to a basic LinkedIn before you can close your LinkedIn account. Those are all the settings under account preferences. Our next conversation, we'll talk about sign in and security. Before you go, let me share with you a new program I put together, and this is a webinar series. It's two group webinars with bonuses. And these are really focused on business professionals who want to quickly get into some of the best practices, tactics, and philosophies of using LinkedIn, purposely focused on their business goals. So I put this together where the first session is all about helping you get focused on your target audience and their influencers and help you get focused on the right words you need to use so you can build out the most professional LinkedIn profile that you can. Then the second session, which is a group session, is we talk about the best practices and tactics of networking on LinkedIn. We get into conversations about social conversations and social sharing. And we also touch on the importance of social listening using Sales Navigator and on LinkedIn. 
Now, everyone who shows up and registers for this webinar series will also get all four of the eBooks that I've produced for my corporate accounts. But furthermore, I'm also providing another bonus, and that is everyone who signs up for this will also get one hour of, of personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's where we spin out of the group setting and when I talk with you deliberately focused on your needs and your goals and helping you overcome your challenges using LinkedIn as a business tool. I put this together for business professionals who don't have enough time to do my bigger programs and they want to really start mastering using LinkedIn as a business tool today. So this is across two weeks at the most, a day a week. I'm going to give you a lot of value, going to give you a lot of resources and help you master using LinkedIn so that you can grow your business, so you can grow your book of business, so you can grow your pipeline and start getting real value out of the use of LinkedIn as a business tool. So check it out. Set, feel free to send me any message. Ask me any questions about the program. I'd be glad to help you understand what I'm trying to do to help you. And I look forward to you showing up to one of these webinar series that we do. Thank you. I'm going to put the, uh, the next section in a second video so that if you want to go specifically to sign in security, you don't need to watch all of the access preferences information first. So get the next video for sign in and security.